Okay. Hi, guys. I'm Veronica. Um, for any of you who are new here and don't know me, um, I'm the president of FIMRIC this year. Um, we're the Foundation for International Medical Relief of Children. Um, we go by FIMRIC just because it's a lot easier to say, less of a, mouth, less of a mouthful. Um, and we are a service organization here at Penn State. Um, we volunteer in the community and we also volunteer abroad. Um, we go to different countries during spring break and volunteer in underdeveloped um, areas that need healthcare but can't get it. Um, and yeah, so we're kind of just gonna go bounce around a little bit to each of our exec members real quick, um, just so we can all kind of introduce ourselves. Like I said, I'm Veronica, I'm the president um, here Hi with me. <laughs> I'm Greta, I am one of the fundraising chairs, um, and I'm a senior. I'm a senior, by the way. <laughs> um, Nick, you wanna go ahead? Yeah. yeah. Hi guys, I'm Nick, I am the vice president, and I am also a senior. Whoever else wants to go, I don't. It doesn't matter who else is on here. Hey guys, I'm Brooke. I'm the other fundraising chair with Greta. Hey Brooke. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Nisa. Um, I'm the community outreach chair. Hi, I'm Stacy. I'm the treasurer. I'm also a senior. Oh, oh where am I? Uh, hi, I'm Shane. I'm a senior. I'm one of the community outreach chairs. Anybody else here from exec? I think that's it. Okay. Um, so we have this little presentation real quick, um, just to kind of go over some things. If you saw us on the um, YouTube live thing that we did, this is the same presentation as then, um, but just to kind of get you guys familiarized with what FIMR is kind of all about. Um, so who we are, like I said, we're an organization that volunteers in underdeveloped countries. Um, we provide health care to children and people in the community who need it. Um, and we travel to these places during spring break, which is great for anybody who's like, who can't go abroad for a whole semester or for somebody who just really wants to do something different. Um, and then as a chapter, we also volunteer within the state college community. Right now we're volunteering um, mostly with out of the cold emergency shelter emergency shelter um so they house all of the homeless people that or most of the homeless people that are in the state college community um even though it's like a we're in a pretty decent sized college town there are a lot of homeless people and a lot of less fortunate people that are in our community um and we partner with them to be volunteers overnight and um, help out with whatever they need. Most of the time it's just staying up all night and being like somebody there for the people who are um, staying there and who are guests there at the shelter. Um, our past trips that we've been on. Um, so in the past few years, we've went to Nicaragua, uh, Peru, Ecuador, Costa Rica. I personally have been to Ecuador and Costa Rica. Um, we were supposed to go to Huancayo, Peru last year, and fortunately we couldn't because of COVID, but hopefully this year we can go to Huancayo. Um, everything trip-wise is still kind of up in the air right now just because they still don't know what's going on, just like the rest of the world still didn't really know what's going on, so we're trying to figure that kind of thing out, um, but we hope to still raise money this year and have everybody raise money for like their pages so if we can go to Juan Cayo in like for spring break that's our goal if we can't then we can always use this money um as money to like start pages and then you can always raise more money next year or to go on like a summer trip um if you go like by yourself or something like that um and in these different places, we participate in clinical activities, health education, and then like certain um, specialized things that they have in these areas. 
So um, like for instance, in Ecuador, we were doing a lot of health education and we ended up doing a big health fair for all the kids at the end of the week. We planned all week for it and then had this big fair where we had different like stations that they went to and different things so they can learn all of the things that like we kind of take for granted and we just do every day, like brushing our teeth, for instance. They don't know that that's something that they should do. So we had like a whole station teaching them how to brush their teeth. Um, and then like in Costa Rica, we were um, volunteering mainly in like the school and um, at a food bank um, doing checkups and doing things for people because they didn't have access to that. Um, and there are a lot of refugees in, in Alo Halita and they couldn't get access to the free healthcare that's provided by Costa Rica. So we were able to help a lot of people who unfortunately had to be burdened with that, but we were able to um, give them some of the help that they needed. Um, these are just some pictures from some of our past trips here. Um, we're a very like close knit club. Um, we typically have like 15 to 20 ish people who go on our trips. Um, and as you can see, like we're together a lot of the time we're hanging out with the kids. We're in the clinic We're we're doing things kind of as all as one. Um, let's see. Just some more pictures. Um, when we're not doing like clinic stuff or like work in the schools and stuff like that, um, we do have time to like go to the beaches or to go wherever, like in the bottom left there, you can see we all went to the beach the one day. Um, we have time to like make it like a fun trip while we're still volunteering during the day. Um, typically like the day that we have is like nine ish, like four or five ish. In a lot of these countries, like they're not very like hard on we're doing this until this exact time. It's kind of just go with the flow, you do whatever, and then whenever you're done, you're done. Um, and then we have like the weekend time too, because they only do Monday through Friday for the clinics. And then some more pictures from the trip. Um, we actually went to an awesome waterfall garden in Costa Rica last year, which was, or the year before, I guess, which was really really cool um but it's just like certain stuff like that that like we paid a little bit extra to go one day and do like a whole excursion we did a whole tour and it was honestly so worth it you pay a little bit more and then you get to do so much stuff in another country um let's see okay um so like i said this year i can't say anything for sure i am still waiting to get hear back from femric because femric is a bigger organization than like just us. Um, they have a lot of different chapters around the states. Um, so I mean they are trying to coordinate with their sites, coordinating with all the different chapters, um, trying to get information out there still. Um, like I said, hopefully we can go to Ancayo, Peru. Um, and we'll, as soon as we know more information on it, we will definitely get information out to everyone. But we still want to try fundraising for this trip. So then even if, let's say we can't go for spring break, but they have their sites open, people can start going to, um, people can start going during the summer if they want to go in the summer, by the, like if they want to take their own separate trip, or they could always wait till the next school year to use it. But Fimrick's really good about like keeping money and um, keeping it like on your account, which is what a lot of us had to do last year. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our goal for this semester. Um, but yeah, we'd love anybody to join. Um, like I said, we're a tight knit club. We don't have a million members. So it's really cool to like get to know everybody and to um, get close with everybody. Um, and you don't have to be like a, a science major. You don't have to be in a major no, where you like to be in like a, a clinical setting. We had all kinds of random majors. We've had history majors. We've had random communications majors. It's just, it's a cool thing to, it's something different that you can kind of put on a resume and it's just something different that you can like experience other than going who knows where on spring break. Um, 
but yeah, and then like I said, even if we can't go on the spring break trip, we can still fundraise for the next trip. And then we can also um, volunteer in the community together, doing things with um, out of the cold. And then we're also looking for more opportunities, just kind of got to see what we can do with COVID and everything um, with what's available right now. Um, but yeah. And then these are just, if you're not in the group me, um, join our group me because we do send a lot of stuff in there. Um, and that's like the quickest way to find stuff. And then that's our Instagram too, if you want to follow us there. And that's kind of all I have presentation wise. Does anybody have any questions that they have? Or any exact, do you guys want to add anything? Can I just ask, like, what kind of fundraising you guys do? Like, what, like, activities you do for fundraising? Or, like... So good. Go ahead, bro. Oh. Oh. Sorry. So, um, we don't know if we're going to be able to do like as much. Oh, yeah. Because we used to do like some car washes and bake sales. Um, some ribbon sales and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But there are some ones that I've been looking at um, that me and Brooke have to go over, but there are some like online um, candy sales like Sarah's Candy and some popcorn ones that are easy for individual, I'm so excited. Um, individual fundraising. But um, we're going to have to see with like social distancing guidelines what we're really going to be able to do for group fundraising. Yeah, a lot of organizations like Thon Orgs also do like the bingo boards that you can post on your Instagram story. And that's something that we would still be able to do that's COVID conscious and everything. Yeah, it's it's a lot of right now just kind of feeling out what we can do and what's available just since we're not able to do everything like we were able to do before. Um, but we want to make it like the most affordable as possible for everybody who wants to go on the trip. So we try to give as many opportunities as you can um so you don't have to pay as much out of pocket um but another like big thing that they have is um Fimric gives you this page that's kind of like a GoFundMe but it goes directly to them because GoFundMe kind of sucks if you plan on going don't use GoFundMe because they take a portion of what you like raise um but they give you this page and people can donate directly to the page. It donates directly to your trip and you can post it anywhere. Like that's how a lot of us were able to like fund a lot of our trips. Um, that's how I've been able to fund all of my trips is posting it on like my Facebook, posting it on Twitter, Instagram, like everything. And then like random family members, random anybody will see it. And then they all kind of like read into it because it's something that not a lot of people are doing and they get kind of interested in it um and you're almost guaranteed to get some kind of donations that way towards your trip um people are pretty um empathetic when they see something like that that you're doing that's something good and you're not just like partying on spring break <laughs> does anybody else have any questions oh sorry Sorry, I was going to add, there's also a bunch of scholarships available you can apply for. Like if you look at the Student Engagement Network and you fill out that you're going abroad, they'll usually give you some sort of money. It could yeah. be $100, it could be $600, it could be $1,000. Yeah, there's some through there. And then there's also, um, Fimric themselves have some scholarships. Um, Isabel, who's our secretary, she actually won one of the scholarships last semester or last year. Um, I think all she had to do was like fill out uh, or do like an essay or something and she ended up winning like $500 for her trip. Um, they also have a lot of good like um, alumni opportunities like once you've gone on a trip with Fimric, um, then they have an opportunity where like if you talk to somebody who wants to go on a trip that's like not with a chapter like just it's literally like a random person like I ended up talking to a lady that was a like mom and she had a daughter and they both wanted to do something cool, something different. I ended up emailing them like one long email and I got $250 off my trip. So like it's random stuff like that, that like they give you incentives for like volunteering with them again. 
Anybody else have any other questions? I'll just add that, um, you know, with like the uncertainty about the trip and everything, I know you said we're going to like really hit it hard on like the community service. Um, I've been looking into some things, um, but I'm going to send out like a poll to see like what people are interested in because there's, we could like do like the Arboretum. I think they're still doing like every Saturday we can help out. Um, out of the cold, of course, they're still doing that, but I kind of want to see if like people are interested in um community service and like whether you need hours or you just want to help out yeah but, for sure that'd be great yeah if you want to put a poll in like the group me then that'd be cool and if anybody else has any like ideas if they're in any other organizations or anything and they want to throw them our way um for more community outreach stuff because like honestly our community outreach is like pretty new for our club it just started within the past like two years mm -hmm. um so we're still kind of trying to get our feet on the ground with like community service opportunities um so if anybody has any great ones that they've been a part of that would be great if you could just throw that our way in the group me or you could always email us um it's just psufimerk at gmail okay. So I know I joined late, but I have a question. So I pretty much missed the entire meeting, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but what, I don't know if you mentioned, like, what are the odds of a trip happening? Did you hear like anything from them? Or? I haven't heard much from them just because they're still trying to figure out, cause they had like virtual stuff going on. Yes. I was going to say, if you like go on their Instagram, they yeah. did have people still volunteering. Mm -hmm. Um, so really it depends on Penn State. Yeah. Like that's oh really that's gonna be a lot to, of it. Like Fimric Fimric, they're pretty they're pretty good with like us still being able to go on trips. It's gonna be if Penn State decides to let us go, basically. Yeah. Okay. And then it also just depends on like because I know that they had some of their sites open already. Um so it just depends on like what sites they have open because there's some sites that like like we can't go to India for a week that's like a two-week thing um so like there's certain sites that are open but we can't go to so it's just kind of it's it's still up in the air right now um i'm trying i'm still waiting to hear back from um headquarters to see like what we can do and what's available um but then it's also going to be kind of like partnering with penn state to see like what we can do okay. and i mean like worst case if they end up opening up um like the sites that we had like because we had one kyo as like our main one and then um i think we had a couple as like backups for if we can't go there for whatever reason um if they end up opening those up we could always like see about going like not penn state affiliated and just we would just have to pay for like our way to the airport um but it's most ideal to go Penn State affiliated just because then we have like the travel insurance and then they pay for 75% of our um, trip to the airport, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of, we still have to figure it out. I mean, who knows how long Penn State's still going to be open for right now. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely keep you guys updated. Like as soon as we have information on if a trip's going to happen, like we'll get that information to you guys. Um, but yeah. Okay. So it's like kind of just like waiting on hearing what Penn State is saying about travel and then just, okay. Yeah, that and FIMRIC, like what they're saying about like the sites that we can go to, you know, like just because like they have like the farther sites that I think their farther sites are open if I'm not mistaken, but those farther sites are like not doable for us during spring break. Cause those are like two week trips, um, like the Philippines and uh, yeah. India and Africa. Those are like two week trips that you have to do. Like when you have two weeks to do it just because of like all the travel time. And that's something it's just not doable for spring break. We would have like two days there and then have to be like back. So yeah. <laughs> it just depends on what's available that we can do for that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Anybody else have any other questions? Or anything that they want to add? Okay. 
Um, nobody has any other questions. That's kind of all we had for this meeting. Um, just to kind of get you guys like acquainted with the club um, and all that. So, I mean, we will definitely have another meeting soon. Um, it'll most likely be in not next week, but the week after that. Um, just to give you guys more like in depth information on like the actual trip and like on all that kind of stuff. We just wanted to give like some general information today about who we are, um, what we do, and like just so you guys could kind of meet us, even though it's virtually. Um, but yeah, if nobody has any other questions, um, we will see you guys in two weeks and we'll be contacting you guys in the group me. Um, we'll send information out. Like I said, once I know information about trips and all that kind of stuff, we will send that out to you guys. Um, but yeah, once we get that, you guys will be obviously the first ones to know. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for today. So I will see you guys all in two weeks and we'll be in contact with you guys over the group me. Thank you. Bye. Bye.